welcome back on today's video we're going to be making fruit cake follow through and stay tuned and a bowl i have dried mixed fruit dried cranberry dried cut into pieces date orange juice brandy mix it up and transfer into an airtight container to stay in there soak it for about 48 to 72 hours before using it trust me it is the best way and it gives your cake this flavorful taste if you don't like alcohol please keep that part and use orange juice ultra for the soaking using orange juice will not let the fruit dried fruit stay for too long so you have to soak it for like a day or two in the refrigerator but if you are using with a brandy or a rum you can place it in a cool warm place until you are ready to use it can stay in there for two to three months You need a hand mixer for this. In here, I have my melted butter. Pour in brown sugar. Mix it up for about a minute or two. Hard eggs, one half time the other. in molasses mix it together pour in your soaked dried fruit I soaked mine for about 72 hours. Pour in cooking oil. Pour your sift flour in a bowl. Hard cinnamon. Hard salt. Nutmeg, baking powder, powder and ginger powder. Clove powder, 
combine all together. Orange zest Lemon zest Mix your dry ingredient with wet ingredient. Fold in gently. Pour in walnuts or any nut of your choice. Pour in your butter in your baking pan. I lined mine with a baking sheet. Make sure you do so so your cake can come out easily. Storm your baking pan on your countertop for a few times to avoid air in your butter. Then place in the oven and bake for 70 to 75 minutes on 140 degrees. And your cake is ready. But we still have few things to do. Let's make our orange syrup. We need orange juice and sugar. Pour in a bowl and place in the microwave for one to two minutes. After a minute, brush your orange syrup on your cake. Make sure you brush it side by side and on top of your cake. After that, place your cake on a foil paper make sure you wrap it tightly all around your cake you need to put this in a cold dry place for at least 48 to 72 hours before cutting it because if you do so right away there's a chance that your cake will be broken and you won't be able to cut it properly so please guys make sure you place in an airtight container or in a plastic wrap after the foil and place it in the fridge or in a cool dry place for 48 to 72 hours before cutting it i know right it's stressful but it's worth it imagine baking this cake for the whole family and friends on christmas day wow this cake tastes so heavenly you should try us After 48 hours, I'm about to unveil my cake and cut it. Cut into any shape and sizes. 
enjoy guys do not forget to let me know in comment section if you try this recipe don't forget to give me a thumbs up like and if you haven't subscribed this is the right time to do so please make sure you do so can you see that guys this looks so good and smells so good and tastes so good ha 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 bye until the next one